All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Penny, Penny and Stalking with Garter Belt, Belt. Episode eight. eight. All right, last episode we had ourselves uh, uh, a bit of merchandising and mm -hmm. capitalism. Yep, that's right. Transformers mm -hmm. and stripping and gambling. Yes. And you know, it's just, yeah. I have a need. The yeah. need for greed. The bare necessities of life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Just, they're all just, you know, means by which people derive entertainment from objects and things that uh, are uh, transferable for currency. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So now now let's uh, let's see whatever craziness this this episode has in store for us. Yes, team Scanty and uh the knee socks. Knee yeah. socks blasting off at the speed of light. That would be pretty great if they made it. Surrender appearance. now or prepare to fight. But yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. Or so Ooh. the saying goes. Ooh. We got the same problem right here in Dot City. Only we got angels and dildos. <laughs> You'll see. Hey, population 666. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the chastity belt isn't holding! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hammering a... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pounding wood. Yep. Survivors. What the flying fuck now? We only fled here because we heard badass angels were named honorary police chiefs for the day. So do something, man. Yeah. yeah. We do. Our weapons ain't working for crap. Look at them. Angels don't dress up like sluggy stripper cops. <laughs> Zombies hate fire. This will clear us a path through the parking lot. We'll run for it and get help from the next town. Fire. Running yet. Mm. I've heard that there's an ancient and secret technique in voodoo for turning ghosts into zombies. Heavenly weapons will have no effect on these double undead. Double undead. Mm -hmm. They do have at least one weakness. Can't hurt to try. Yes, it fucking can. How? Ow! Well, here we go. Yep. Yep. She was bit. Mm-hmm. Smash the brains. That's what their weakness is. It's the only way you're gonna kill these Wow. Yep. That's so secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yep. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. This is precisely what those fecal mouthed angels deserve for pretending to be <laughs> fecal mouthed. Yep. Oh, they are so dead. Yep. Oh, 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 just keeps going. Yeah. Oh my yep. god, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is amazing! Isn't it great? <laughs> this is so stupid, but so amazing. Let me distract them. Ugh. Who are you? I've been hanging out with you bitches all day. I can't believe you haven't noticed me yet. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> My life story, publish it. Why? Yeah. Because the world needs to know what happened through a paperback and a hardback and an e-novel. I call it the journey of the spirit inside my heart, inside a sex shop by me. Just go die already. Yes, yes, definitely. When the studio's called. I can barely even read. I mean, I get headaches trying to finish comic books. Plus, you only wrote three pages. I love my life. Ah, he's gonna blow them up. 
Ah, nice. He's got a blow up doll. Yep. That was quick. Oh my god. Someone came up with yeah. like almost uh -huh. all these lines. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Oh no. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Operation Zombie was a complete success. We're brilliant, I say brilliant. Sister. <laughs> Sister, look! I thought it'd be a fucking downer, but it's actually liberating. Not bad at all. <laughs> Pulls out the second one. Yep. Yep. Well, we still haven't changed back. What's your thoughts? Yeah, this could be bad. Zombies can still have sex, right? <laughs> sure. Yep. There you go. Mm-hmm. One angry ghost. What? I don't remember this one. Cool references, yeah, but what? Wait, what? We've got a great program tonight. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, what? I forgot about this. These cunts who must be tamed before they try to destroy all the joys of manhood. Our cock of justice will make these cunts wet with the moist tears of regret for what they've done. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh my god. was a cheerful, gentle, pet like ghost who settled down in our lovely township. Yes. Mm -hmm. The old style animation and everything. Mm -hmm. I legitimately don't remember anything about this the skit. Oh wait. Why the monkey? And say hello to Abrams. With an IQ of 65, he's the smartest one. Be relaxed, funny. Good woman. I can talk just good. Amazing. Head on head. Change his thoughts into human bark noises. Say hello to our unnecessarily British judge! <laughs> the court is now in session to try the accused. All defendants are innocent until proven unlikable. Uh, yes. Mm hmm. Until unlikable. Here's a photo of you speeding through a red light haphazardly caught by a traffic camera on Main Street. All right, I made Pandy take us to Bobson's for their new fall ice cream flavor. Deadly pistachio. <laughs> what do you do when you see a rampaging bird? Ghost just strolling through the city, Miss Pansy. I shoot it, obviously. I can't believe what I'm hearing. So you'd make you shoot a ghost on sight, even if he were completely innocent and adorable with a loving wife at home. Can you remember the name of every ghost you've executed? Wow. Uh, what? If you don't even ask for names, how would you remember killing Whoa. Mr. Petter? 
At this point, Your Honor, I submit into evidence a weapon carried by these bloodthirsty defendants. <sighs> Did I scare you? These smells you. Multiple ear witnesses have described hearing gunshots in the park at the time of the vicious murder. Please show the court how your panty gun works. Uh, not right now. It's way too much of a hassle. Well, what do you say, audience? Do you want to see? Ah, and then they've got the fans for it. Yep, yep. yep. Iron Maidens. Yep. Now let's move to the main event. Oh my god. What you're about to hear, my friends, is the heartbreaking mm. testimony of the woman slash ghost slash dog whose life was destroyed by those murderous angel guns. It's not my fault. I should never have been late for our dinner and like karaoke. How are you gonna thank you, man? All right, viewers, it is verdict time. Holy shit. Everybody in this live audience and all you viewers at home. Now finger those bring on the Not to fifty. Wait. Oh, nice. I was gonna say, I'm like, there's no way. Yeah, where is this going? He's now extremely intelligent. Hmm. Oh, that's right, I remember this part. Oh my <laughs> god, yes! <laughs> yes! Dead body. If the angels had shot him, as my colleagues holy shit, yeah, it was her. His body was found covered with large animal like bite marks, bite marks that no doubt match your teeth, Mrs. Wife. I admit nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Make your choices. <laughs> oh my god, people just want to want the excuse to electrocute somebody, yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Second part was cringe until the yeah. end. Holy shit! All right, okay. okay. We got ourselves a zombie. Uh, we got a zombie skit. skit, and that was that was that, that was, was it. That was it. Yeah. yeah. The, the, <laughs> right. the second skit was just no, no. no. It wasn't like, that good? You, I it don't was know. Funny at parts, but overall, no. It just yeah, kind of not. No, no. It, like like even even the skits that we've had in the past where it's like okay, whoa, show you're going a bit far. Like that, those are still funny. Right, yeah, yeah. But like that second skit, it's just the best part is maybe that then Panty starts doing a pole dance in the courtroom. Well, you know? and and the uh, Lupin the Third reference. Yes, you yes. Know, the, the yeah with mm -hmm. also the uh, monkey Phoenix right objection. objection. You yeah, know, mm -hmm. that was the best part. Yes, yes. But um, I really loved the super serious zombie outbreak kind of aspect of it where even garter belts like panicking and he's mm -hmm. got like a shotgun with yeah, a two shotgun that he's loading with yep. there if you Love are that. ever having any questions about continuity in this show this is the one that says there's none mm -mm. i know absolutely none. none yeah yeah yep. i did find it interesting though that uh while scanty and Nisox were involved with all of this yeah both for, for, for both of them mm. um this was 
basically a full continuation of their Team Rocket kind Absolutely. of status. Absolutely. They yep. have no good ideas. No good they ideas. They just are complete idiots. And and the the studio can only, you know, come up with so many only make so many fights lines. super badass. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> like they'll just they'll just be little little images, you know, sitting there talking. And, and yet, while that was the case, the zombie one leading to them all then just being bit and then just going Everybody after zombies. candy meat socks, then it's just like, oh, yep. no, we win. All right. There you all go. Right, cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. I will say though. It was kind of interesting how uh, Garter Belt brought up the point of, you know, the zombies are just the zombies. The, whatever they bite, you know, even you angels, it's fine. You guys yeah. will end up becoming zombies and stuff. And then they got bit. And, and they, they became zombies. Well, they, they didn't act like zombies, though. Well, okay, that's fair. I mean, yeah, you could see, you, you could argue that they always wanted to, like kill garter belt like since the very beginning because of him constantly like well, making them do stocking work stocking did want to put meat in her mouth which yeah is that's true odd. that's a panty thing that's and actually thing. that was that was okay that's how yeah. you that's how you know that this mm -hmm. episode kind of dropped the ball a bit on banter uh, because stocking sure. didn't make any jokes at all about I mean, Panty, you put meat in your mouth all the time, right? Like, you know, why would, why would being a zombie yeah, change Yeah, anything? I felt like there was a lot you know? of instances where they could have set up some pretty good jokes, and they just kind of didn't. Yeah, with the zombie one, yeah. it was mostly the, okay, we get to the point where we're going to be using dildos to kill zombies, which I think is great. I will say, like, the sex machine <laughs> machine gun, the sex yeah. machine gun. Uh-huh. Like that, that got me. Oh, that, <laughs> that was so good. I was just like... You sick bastards. Yeah. That's brilliant. It's a chainsaw, you know? Well, not even a chainsaw. It's just a machine gun. It's just the... Yeah. You know, just... Yes. Oh, yes. So funny. Uh-huh. So stupid. Yes. Oh. But, I mean, yeah, really, that's that's kind of the episode. We right. doubled down on there being no continuity. Mm -hmm. We've not really explored Scanty and Nisox's character through these moments at all. There wasn't any exciting action in either of them. Not really, no. And then the we didn't even was have decent brief, in the first which isn't one. needed. You know, he's not needed. Oh, but I, like, don't, I don't, I don't yeah, no. miss brief at all. No. I, I really liked how the first episode had some funny little gags in there. But all in all, yeah, it was it was mostly just them kind of rejecting the absurdity of the things that were happening to them. And then right, Penny and Stalking kind of just had to deal with it. Like the whole bit we of got like extra the transformation sequence in the second part. Though, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. We did get that. Like yeah. the whole bit with the, the guy that's like, I'm going to go and sacrifice myself and everything. It's a bunch of build up to a non joke. Right. Like, I mean, yeah, that could be funny to some people. Yeah. Like, yeah. like if anything, it felt like there were a lot of like just zombie movie like references and, and, or like, Maybe commentary on zombie movies, you know. Eh, but like eh. that. that no, most... this was this was just mostly really goofy, and and mm -hmm. and the first half was relatively fun. Yeah. But but yeah, yeah, I feel like we've been getting so many banger panty and stocking episodes though that this is the first time in a while we've had an actual dud. Right. And it's like yeah. In oh. in the, in the previous episode where the Transformers skit, by comparison to the second one, ends up just being kind of like oh it was good, you know. Like then you have yeah. this one after that, and it's like oh. Oh yeah, no. Oh. the The best skit in Ugh. this one is significantly worse than the worst skit of the previous one. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But I mean, yep. hey, hey, you know, that's only on one more closer to the end of uh, Penny is talking. You that's know? true. And and I will say, I do always find it hilarious when in the second skit, probably probably my favorite joke of the second skit mm -hmm. is when they cut out of the transformation sequence and Panty's <laughs> ass cheeks are just like. <laughs> Fully over like the the the, the, the stripper pole, yeah. and she's just like, wait, what? What you asked? <laughs> right, like, why why are we stopping? Like, what's what's the problem this here? This pole is here. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, but the the Tom Cruise reveal did get me. The, that was a great reveal. The, that terrified me too, because I was like, um, oh, wait a minute, like, yeah. there, there. That's that's kind of like. I wonder at what point do they kind of like, you know, uh, legal disclaimer, because <laughs> like... No, it's like, they actually, it was actually Tom Cruise you know? Like, uh, like that's, you know, he's, it, it's a We misheard. Name, you know, yeah, exactly. Tom Cruise, you know, yeah. it's just, it's very slightly there. Right, right. Slightly different. Yeah. Also, um, yeah. Uh, be around she, sure, if characters want to throw around the C word, fine. It doesn't automatically make for like a funny joke. It's Not just really, like, no. okay... It got old, you know, 
the after tenth the time, time, or yeah, yeah, after the you know after the third time, and it's like okay, now this is number seventeen. Yep. All right, we got it. Cool story. If we were trying to be monetized on YouTube, we wouldn't be here. Right. Like, Yay. like it's you. The the swears in this show are so creative most yes. of the time that it's disappointing when you see just just rapid fire. Yeah, it's like nonsense. I mean, come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, you mix can it do up better. a little bit. Yeah. Please. But all in all, there we go. Mm -hmm. We had our zombie moment. We had yep. our game show kind of moment, I guess. Uh, officially, so. uh, uh, stalking is into um, getting zapped. Ah, uh, that's true. You know? Confirmation. Yeah, the Iron Kink Maiden. Revealed. She was like, okay, I can kind of get with this. A little yeah. bit of pain. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. All right. I mean, stockings are tight, you know. Sure. So could be something there to that as well. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the uh, next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if ain't that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.